Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is Geeks Are Sex. We brought all our guests back for our panel discussion this month. And everyone here around this table, at least you three ladies, um, are very successful and have the appearance of being very successful. But I know... I thought you were successful, too. I do okay. Um, <laughs> I do okay. But we all know how hard it can be in business and that you have to grind things out. And there are days that when you've got your own business, um, sometimes you want to quit. Sometimes you sometimes you want to go. I wonder what it what, wonder what it would take for me to go get a job somewhere else right now. I don't know if I want to do this anymore. And I think all of us have been through the um, the days like that and said at the end of the day, I don't want to do anything else but this though, right? So so I know I've had those days, but have you had experiences like that? Have you had days like that where you just felt like you did not want to be in business for yourself or just didn't want to do what you're doing anymore? Only a day. <laughs> Let's let's start with one right. experience and then we'll go we'll go from there. I feel like it just gets so overwhelming sometimes, especially with like the rate that there are so many social media platforms where you're getting messages on and trying to keep up with emails, trying to keep up with phone calls and voicemails. And I feel like there's just so many ways that people can get a hold of you and that you mm -hmm. have to try to keep people engaged and get back to them in a timely manner. And wearing all the hats in your business as a solopreneur, like I don't have any employees. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing the marketing, I'm doing the sales, I'm doing the actual client experience, yes. I'm doing all of the things. So wearing all the hats, they get real heavy on your head. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think yeah. it just really, some days are worse than others with the amount of overwhelm that it really sets in so yeah, I think you're right with all the social media you, you can't get away from it you know I did work a nine-to-five corporate job and it's like when I left I went home and I had my home life and now it's like I take it with me everywhere I go all the time it's like I can't even lock myself in the bathroom <laughs> you know because I've got my something with me my phone or you know mm -hmm. something or reviewing something so it is it is difficult and it's so hard when you're setting your own schedule too because when you're in a nine to five somebody's telling you to clock in and when to leave and when to come and when to take a lunch but when you're setting up your own and you're also incorporating networking you're also incorporating meetings mm -hmm. you're also incorporating having your own life and you know relationships and uh, whatever religion that you practice and you're trying to incorporate all those things it's really easy to have a very wobbly life, work, Absolutely. relationship, religion, mm -hmm. balance, especially when you're trying to take the best care of yourself. So um, I think that it's hard to kind of just schedule everything all at once. And I think you hit on the key. It's taking the best care of yourself because what ends up happening is you get so overwhelmed, it's things start to fall apart and then you start feeling awful about yourself and then that reflects into your business. Um, the thing that I have found is remember to take that time for yourself. Whether it's go to the gym or stop and get that latte or take a walk around the block mm -hmm. or lock yourself in the bathroom or, <laughs> or whatever it is you have to do for those few minutes. Even if it's a few minutes, you know, they always say take a vacation. Well, you know running your own business, you're not going to be able to go take that vacation that you're dreaming about. But it doesn't have to be a whole vacation. You know, meditation is amazing. Just stop, breathe, focus and then all of a sudden you feel refreshed. And give yourself grace too and celebrate the little things. Like I really yeah. think that so, so many of us put so much responsibility on ourselves to be the best and do everything on our task list. We have to prove mm -hmm. everybody we're awesome. Of course, yeah. all day long, yeah. right? Absolutely. Even if we didn't get out of the house wearing any makeup, we're like, it's yeah. okay, we got this, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we can do it. Yeah. It's fine, but we I'm really have to right, yeah. give ourselves grace because we are doing so much. And back, you know, a hundred years ago, like, People were not doing this much every day. They didn't have as much input. So give yourself grace and also celebrate all the wins. Like, you know, looking back, I think journaling has really helped me mm -hmm. with like every week just going back and saying like, you know, what I'm really thankful for, the coolest experience of the week, like things that I want to really slow down and mm -hmm. remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. because it's really hard to, or it's really easy to not do that. It's all about time management is what I find. Time yeah, management sure. and actually prioritizing what's important to you. So if you're not writing it, it down, gets... like journaling it, <laughs> mm -hmm. journalizing it, if you're not writing it down, you're not finding out what's priority to you and mm -hmm. what you're wasting your time on or what you are wasting your time on. Yeah. So, well, what I find too is even when I have some priorities, I, they, they, they just keep getting thrown down back. to the bottom. Are they and priorities? So it's how do you get back to the top of that list? Yeah. That's what I want to dive into next, even though it wasn't on our, our list of prepared questions, is a they lot of what we've talked about is the self the self care mm -hmm. and the preparation and how we how we prepare ourselves physically, mentally and emotionally for a tough day. What I'd like to hear you guys talk about 
How do you do those pattern breaks when you're in the middle of being overwhelmed? <laughs> how do you break the pattern and say, I need to engage in some self-care, some grace, as you put it, even just for a few minutes? What do you what 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 makes you recognize you need to do that? How do you break that pattern when you're overwhelmed? Mine's food. I'm just gonna be honest, mine's mm -hmm. food. I have to break my pattern with food. And it's for several reasons, but one of the major ones is I need to stop to eat because I never prioritize eating in my yeah. schedule. Let's just be honest. I love doing Somewhere it. Somewhere in there's lunch, it, right? <laughs> but I have to prioritize eating. So when I get into a stressful moment or a where I feel a little overwhelmed, I'm like, mm, it's probably I'm due to me that. not eating and I need to go ahead and take a lunch break. So I'm going to be back mm -hmm. and then we'll finish this discussion and we'll, you'll pick it up back up from there. Okay. And that way it allows me to take a moment to do something for me that I do enjoy because I love food. Mm -hmm. I really do. I know you can't tell, but I do. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. <laughs> so but that, I do and you can kind of tell. <laughs> <laughs> but that helps me get away from the work mm -hmm. environment mm -hmm. and actually do something just for me. So you actually have a physical I a break the pattern. You build it in already. I do. Mm -hmm. awesome. And, and it's something that's helpful mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to eat. It's yeah. a good thing to mm -hmm. do. I'll grab something healthy and I tell myself that it's not only mentally nourishing, it's physically nourishing yeah. as well. Okay. Cool. One of the things I do is I have to remember that the only thing I have control of is the present moment. True. Because mm -hmm. so many times I'll say, oh, I'll do this later or, you know, or, oh, I wish I would have done this. So I always have to try to live mm -hmm. in the present and say, even if it's just an example of like taking my vitamins, we were just talking mm -hmm. about this offline. Like if I remember right now, if there's a drink around me, I have to do it mm -hmm. because the only thing I have control of is the present. If I say I want to get back to doing my morning routine, but then I don't wake up and actually do it, mm -hmm. I'm not living in authenticity to myself because mm -hmm. I'm just letting that go by. So especially with prioritizing and letting things go like slip away mm -hmm. on the calendar. One, I think it was Amber De La Garza who, uh, has a productivity specialist podcast on her podcast. I heard a really good thing that if you make a commitment to yourself, you have to act like it's a commitment with your best friend and you have to mm -hmm. reschedule it. So you can't let it just go by. You have to act like, because we treat ourselves poorly. We do, we never, we don't treat each other as we would our best friend or a colleague or anything like mm -hmm. that. We wouldn't just no call, no show. We wouldn't just put it on the back burner and never let it happen. Mm -hmm. So we need to reschedule that in there to make sure that we're prioritizing what's really important to us in that present moment. That's great. true. That's great. Yeah. Mm. That's right. So um, I'm going to skip the question about, you know, the how do you set up your goals, right? You know, <laughs> anyone who watches this show, clear, measurable, achievable, framing, time, you know, I'll link to our goal setting <laughs> video. You guys don't need that. We've all but, tried it. But what, <laughs> but what I do. But what I do want to talk about, because we all start setting goals, and sometimes those goals and those priorities drift from our purpose. Mm -hmm. How do you, especially when you're in the middle of that overwhelm, on a bad day or a busy day, how do you make sure that the things you're setting your goals and your priorities to do, how do you make sure they're still aligned with your purpose? Why you got into the business you're in in the first place? Man, that's hard because a lot of times mine are like time sensitive, whatever needs mm -hmm. to get done quickest mm -hmm. gets done and okay. everything else gets put on the back burner. Okay. I have not been the best in my professional world with keeping and maintaining goals and goal structure and reaching those mm -hmm. goals. Because, yeah, it's a goal, but it's not, like, time-sensitive to mm -hmm. where, like, I need to get a project done. So I think that I've had a struggle with that. So I would love to hear what you ladies have to say, mm -hmm. to say on that. Cause... I actually put in my planner that there's a day and time that I'm supposed to go back and review. And my review is to find out where I am uh, with my goals, whether they're financial, mm -hmm. whether they're uh, what my, my, my business-driven passion goals, my life goals. It's a day and time that I'm supposed to just sit there and go back through and make sure that I'm staying focused on those things. And then I will revamp and recreate whatever I need to restructure, whatever I need to, in order to make sure that I'm staying on that same path. Do you have an accountability partner for that? Or is that just you? Cause I feel like in my experience, if I I'm don't have so an accountability partner, that. then mm -hmm. I'm not holding myself accountable. I'm so like so business coaches, anything yes. like that, that'll help me. So I don't have one. Yeah. I have a bunch. Mm -hmm. oh, so I like today I create, I got a new website and I told my title rep, Hey, do me a favor. Check my website tonight at like seven, eight o'clock and let me know what you think. Well, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I just got it today. Mm -hmm. But because I 
made sure I told somebody to hold me accountable, I will do it. So yeah. you got some work and to do because it's almost three. <laughs> I know, but I do this intentionally. Mm-hmm. I do it intentionally, yep. and I do it with all kinds of things. Mm-hmm. I do it whether it's a listing, whether it's my personal life, whether it's my personal goals or my business goals. That's what I do to make sure that other people are constantly yep. holding me accountable. So it's not just one person because I wouldn't want to put that responsibility on that one person. I put it on Everyone. I love that. <laughs> okay. Teresa, you get you get the last word before okay. we sign off. I would say that um, because I just started a new career, um, I actually sat with Jason and he helped me learn, figure out how to set some structure and give myself milestones and then figure out how to meet those milestones. And then I feel accountable that I have to meet those milestones and where am I at to get there? So if I have to jump in and work extra hard to get to that one, then that's what I do. And that's how I've been able to be successful these last eight months, thanks to Jason's help. Mm -hmm. Helping me, because I knew it, it's just putting it down and seeing it and learning how to analyze it so that you get there and learning what those baby steps need to be rather than jumping in at the last minute and hurrying up and getting it done. Yeah. It's going to be done, but is it exactly what you wanted it to be? Mm-hmm. Done is better so. than perfect. <laughs> That's true. So, Sometimes, yeah. yes. All right, well, thank you so much for being here today, ladies. Um, let, for having us. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I've learned so much from all of you, and especially in this this discussion uh, about sticking with your goals and on, on bad days and hard days. But before we go, Teresa, tell everybody how they can can reach you and Down Syndrome Absolutely. Organization of Southern Nevada. Absolutely. Down Syndrome Organization of Southern Nevada is here locally, and our website is dsosn.org, Down Syndrome Organization of Southern Nevada.org, and the phone number 702 648 1990. I'd love we'll, to hear from you. We'll put all this in the show notes so you guys don't need to spell anything or <laughs> people can read it on the on the YouTube page or the web page. Go ahead, Casey. Casey Jade Photo on all social media platforms as well as dot com. Dot com. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Yeah. And of course I can always be reached at pebbles at unique dash home dash solutions dot com or by phone at 702-845-4796. And you all can participate in the show and be Pebbles' accountability partner and go check that website at 7 o'clock tonight. Absolutely. That's right. Please do. All right. And call her at that number. Hey, what's this? Yeah, now they got your number. Check out your lake. It's not up. Uh, (laughs) It better be up. I'm accountable for this. I don't think Pebbles is going to be speaking to me after today. But (laughs) thank you again all for being here. Thank all of you for watching. I'm Jason LeDuc from Evil Gene. Leadership Consultants. This has been Geeks Are Sexy. We will see you on the fourth Thursday of next month.